think one of the main things that we're looking to do on this channel is yeah. to give advice to young players so yeah. they don't make mistakes mm -hmm. that other players have done. Yeah. You're saying now, looking back, you could yeah. have done things differently. What would you have done differently? Oh, absolutely loads differently. I, I didn't live life the right way. I kind of seen it as a job. Yeah. So I would wake up, go to training, come home. Yeah. That was it. And, I mean, I listen to a lot of podcasts, not as good as yours, uh, <laughs> and I read a lot of books and stuff. And the high performers and the best players, for me, the old attitude yeah. to work is incredible. Yeah. They outwork everyone, they outrun everyone. Their attitude to practice, do it extra, yeah. is incredible. And that belief in themselves, yeah. and of them three, I, I, didn't, I didn't have them three. I didn't have enough, um, I wasn't mentally strong enough to kind of cope in that environment. Because yeah. that's interesting when we've spoke to Paul Davis and Jason Lee, who yeah. got to the very top, both played European football and won, <coughs> won a decent amount of their careers. They said that that was what got them there. Was that determination? Was that mindset? Yeah. And when you spoke about other podcasts, I think a lot of people have seen the high performance podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And especially when you listen to somebody like Frank Lampard. Yeah, yeah. It is that mindset. I think Absolutely. that separates. I think ability gets you so far, Absolutely. and then that mindset is something that's huge. And you see a lot of people that potentially could have played at a, a much higher level. Mm -hmm. And mindset stops it. You know, something we've mentioned. Sean have spoken about is there's players playing non-league football now that yeah. technically have the same ability yeah. as lots of players in the Premier League. Definitely. But because of the mindset, they can't do it on a consistent yeah. basis. I was, I was totally that guy. I had, had ability could score goals with both feet, could do bits of magic, but it was that it was that mentality and I just I just didn't have it a lot of the times when I knew there was big games, not big games in the game, but a yeah. big game for me. Yeah. Yeah. I would almost go into it like scared. Okay. And in, in, in playing in fear because I knew I wanted it so much. Yeah. But because I wanted it so much, I was thinking too much about it. Yeah. And the best games I've had in my career have been games where you just turn up mm. and you just play. You don't think about all the rubbish that goes on outside, you just concentrate. What's in front of you? If the ball, you just control it and you do whatever comes. You but I've had games, like another game. Yeah, yeah, just exactly. But I've had games where the ball's coming to us, and in my head, I'm going, keep it, don't give it away, don't give it away, don't give it away. There's a ball coming, laid back for a shot, and I like, don't miss, don't miss, don't miss. Like, you've got no chance of that's your mentality. And, but I don't know how you train that. I don't know how you, how I could have improved that because then, hmm. I mean, I was a kid, 16, 17, 18 yeah. year old kid. And living away from home, and, and it's tough. Uh, it's tough to, to develop that and to, to kind of realise that. It's only when I look back, kind of now, that you realise that. I mean, I was nowhere near strong enough. I've played with players who possibly didn't have as much ability, yeah. but their mentality was up there. Yeah. Yeah. So you would take talent there and mentality up there. I was the other way around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that mentality is one for me. The reason you see players in non league, like you mentioned. And you, we've all done it, like, how, how's he playing non league? He should be yeah. playing for this. And, and it's, it will be nine times out of ten, yeah. they're not strong enough and switched on enough in their head, nowhere near. So, where did that pressure come from, not wanting to give the ball away? Was it from the coach? It, just being myself, no, I was totally myself. I mean, a lot of people come out of football and they've got, they've got excuses for this, that, and the other. Yeah. The only excuse is for, on me is, is me, myself. I, I put a lot of pressure on myself because I wanted to be a professional footballer so bad, but I didn't know how to. Ch channel or filter that negativity and that rubbish and get rid of it and just play the game because I would have reserve games and training yeah. where I would be I would do loads of good stuff yeah. but then when it mattered and when I knew eyes were on us and spoke go on and play well and go on and it just it just didn't happen and I would kind of choke for, for want of a, of a better word and I t it's tough looking back and it was only really when I started playing for Willie Bay that I just felt a bit freer and just feeling you know,